All right, this is part number two. Dos. Yeah, I'll be gone for all of 45 seconds. Mm. To right. get some water, basically. You'll see me leave, too. So we just wanted to make sure we didn't break two hours of video. Yeah, and if we do end up losing two hours of video, we are going to cry. We're you going to upload boy. two hours of somebody <laughs> taking a nap. Uh, 25. Right. Over 25. Here you go. Get it. Get it. Get it. Now, I'm going to say... Oh, that was actually mm so those were some sweet houses coda leaderboard now i saw this house selection dis logos shadows and i thought it was coda that what? that would be nice but we are not thing? seeing Ooh. don't you don't you dare. Ook. Don't you dare. I've seen a significant number of legacies and mavericks and stuff we're opening today. So that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Okay. Can you at least tell me, have you seen any anomalies? I can't say that I have. Okay. Yeah, we can't all have four anomaly boxes like you. Uh, that was absolutely crazy. And to see the double anomaly? Uh-oh. Video pause. Ah, we're back. Dan was glitching there. Is that a glitch? No, it just froze your video, which is, is a little weird. It was just flip second. Yeah. I can, I mean, especially when the first first deck you open out of that box is a double anomaly, you are not sad. I've never got a double anomaly box. That's why it's, I've been playing it too. It's, it's actually a lot of fun. But bad. Oh yeah. It's yeah. Worlds Collide Brobnar. Infomancer is in Brobnar, but it can actually board up and do some fun things. Yo. I feel like there's been a lot of Star Alliance in the Worlds Collide box. Really? Which is I have not seen that, so that's interesting. That definitely tells you that I am focused on seeing. Robnar and Mars. I like for the worst. Can say I haven't seen an upgraded key like that. Really? Out of all of them? I don't know if I've seen that. Enhanced. 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 I, I was about to say I haven't seen a ton of logos in the MM. And as I look over to the right, what do I see? I have four piles. There are literally four logos icons showing to me. So okay. careful what I say. I gotta read a card quick. Oh no, no, I don't. I was just thinking of something, but it doesn't work. I've always tried to figure out how do you fire Dark Harbinger for bonkers off house but he says on no action card yeah because i was actually looking at that um but it is specifically untamed um because who is just playing in chainbound with so obsidian forge to get him active but that doesn't let him use for the whole turn it's only one use i'm not sure about that obsidian forge um no uh essence scale yeah you can use essence scale in order to use them but then and then kirby for a while because that doesn't hmm. Like, so Kirby lets you play. Yeah, so you'd have to have a... So you'd have to have a um, Kirby and then... A but it's not going to... Translator, so you activate Kirby to play the action to then trigger the Universal Translator to let him work. No and way. And he can action, it's and then you play... 27. So inefficient. So, oh, yes. 
so inefficient. No, but that is sometimes not. Sometimes you just dream up dumb combos because that's part of the fun of Keyforge. I do agree with that. There's your coda, sir. I still think that uh, Harbinger is one of my favorites, especially from MM. He can make bonkers money. He can make bonkers, and without the scaling amber control, you are not seeing, especially MM to MM, you can have some real issues, and it is very, very quick. There are a lot of hands that cycle so quickly that you actually, do you want me just to pull them out of the sleeve? Would that help you? Okay. Um, that it is actually pretty easy to kind of make your hand so it leads towards a very high dosage of Untamed. But I think the key piece is Song of the Wild. I kid you not. My, oh, du yeah. my double Dark Harbinger deck has Song of the Wild, and that is what I look for so all the time. So when you were talking about you just were looked at getting a Patreon deck to Keyforge, and yep. then you get notifications, one of my notifications is Dark Harbinger with Song of the Wild, but it also has to have low dose. So that way you might be able to archive. Sure, to make and, it even bigger. And make it actually go. I'll tell you. Because otherwise it's just top deck luck. I'm telling you. I, I have the double Dark Harbinger deck. And oh, I... that, even with just the one, it comes down to your number of actions with Dark Harbinger. Oh, sure. It determines what type. I mean, you don't necessarily want to have Savage Clash where you're killing. No, we sure don't want Savage Clash. Um... It depends. If you have a if you have a board that is wiped, it actually isn't the end of the world. Sure, but in general, it's just right. not the action you're looking for. I believe that should be Punctuated your... Equilibrium is hot. Uh, punctuated is actually really difficult to be able to do. Well, you just do everything and then punk. I, but you you need to have. It, it's an order piece. you requested there you go no I, I think the amount of actions is really important but i can consistently pull that off and it is absolutely wonderful to see i still like punctuated equilibrium is oh it's very, still very one good. of my favorite cards but like Oops, it can here. screw you sometimes yeah. like you can dig them out of a bad hand I wouldn't say a bad hand, but X-Ray yesterday on Chainbound went ahead, and I had a full full hand of all logos. And, you know, that's not bad, but my logos isn't my strong house in the Coda deck that I had. And so he actually bumped me into a hand that had steel for shadows. It was a 4-2 split, so I was still very fine with that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just sometimes, you know, you can take them off a bad hand and put them on a better hand. Yeah. Like, it doesn't always benefit you. And, you know, sometimes it's just amazing when you throw the Varking Divorce and the Key Abduction out and you laugh manically at them. But no. that isn't always the case. Uh-oh. Nobody saw nothing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right. All right, we're going to go on with 29, cutting Dan off. No more water. No more water for you. All right, here we go. Coda. Leaderboard. It's like, like highest sass deck is going to be a thing, but I don't really want to give a try. Like, Sounds like a lot of work to track, but highest SAS worst performance. <laughs> no, your benefit for getting a high SAS deck is that you have a high SAS deck from, well, you'd have 48 times 3. So 144 decks that are here. That is your benefit. Telling you, man, we have more. T 
times. Trade positions for a while. Now yeah. we got something like efficiency going on, or at least uh, consistency. Yeah, I think consistency is important. That yes, they'd rather look at your face than my face. I don't know. No. All right, sorry. listeners, you tell us <laughs> which one of these ugly mugs do you want? Thirty. All right. Number 30 coming in. There you go. So, uh, guess what we have? Mars. Gas Master? Okay, I can read that one. Oh, did I have 31 in there too? I'm sorry. I failed you. Yeah. Yep. Leaderboard. That's going to be on your performance Ooh. evaluation. You got any Rebecca's in our group? Ho ho! I'm liking the Mars in 30. I really do miss playing straight up sealed. I played a lot more with TCO, so I'm playing other decks, but there is something that's just nice about sealed. I assume all of these will be uh, decks are hidden. Yes. And hands hidden in case somebody pops in the watch. Yeah, that makes it really hard to commentate then. Yeah, well, I mean, like, at least I know what their deck lists are. Yeah, no, that's fine. Commentating seals kind of dumb anyways. Like, he's planning for him to have, but he doesn't know a damn thing about what's in the other guy's deck. I think I need to be Scrooge McDuck and just swim in this pile of boxes afterwards. Oh, there you go. That's it's got some enhancements right there. <laughs> hey, I looked over the top and what was that? Like eight cards that have. There are one, two, cards are in there, one? three. Three of them are double enhanced too. Double enhanced, nice. Yeah. yeah, I think you got a whole bunch of Coda with well, Mars. Man. This is crazy. Hey. One of the two best Coda decks in the world is Mars, so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to check and make sure I take that picture because I need it. Scroll, you stupid touchscreen garbage. Whoever designed touchscreens. Those good people, but also... <laughs> Just stop right there. Okay. They don't plan for fat, clumsy people like me. Who are not actually left-handed, but are now left-handed. Okay, I'm ready. 31? Alright, number 31. Here we go. Boop, boop, boop. Beep, beep, beep. Guess what? I just keep thinking of Wookiee with all this Mars and Brobnar going on. World Slide. Wookie is a very, very good deck with Mars and Bravnar. Yes. Like, it's Coda. Like, there is, I mean, like, there is no house in Coda that doesn't have top tier. So close to being cool, though. So close. Oh, you know what we need to open today? The Legacy Mortal. Ooh. So would you get multiple... What about Legacy uh, Plague Rat deck? Uh, I've seen them. Really? Anything worthwhile? <laughs> Plague Rats. It's Plague Rats. Yeah, I kind of figured that before I even said it, so... Um... I mean, like, I've seen Legacy Fagan decks, too. Yeah. Like, you know, I was just having the discussion, how do you 
were we having this discussion or was it online? Urchin. What about Urchin? How do you feel about Urchin? Urchin is now, in my definition, an average card. Like, I'm not heartbroken to get Urchin, but I don't love Urchin either. Like, I don't know. Right now, creature steal one. Right now, I just went ahead and. I mean, I know your deck is a Fagin Urchin deck. Yeah, and I just opened that yesterday. So going 4-0 and and Chainbound with 10 people there, like, I, I cannot... I'm not saying it's a bad card, but... I think, okay, so... And here... in the line of Coda, it's a very good card. But now, I would rather have Fandangle or Red... Or not Fandangle. Bone Knitting or um, Red Penny over an Urchin any day. So there's a couple things. Uh, Fagin being able to pull him back really helps. Fagin's bad. I understand, but what? So that deck has Fagin, has two urchins, 32, and Coda. World's Glide. Um, but Mac the Knife being able to be used every single round. And there's your MM. Oh, yeah. Like, Plus to be able Fagan, to go ahead and... If you have Fagan, Urchin, Mac, and I, that's, correct. that is pretty good. Yeah, and like, that's that's what I've been rolling. So, I mean, that's that's hard to be able to pass well, up. So just... just kill it? I mean, it's not that hard to kill. But I guess, okay. I mean, I, sure. It was not It was not targeted. It was not prioritized. I don't know. You know what? Legacy. There you go. Actually, a... Ooh, he's going with a decent Legacy for 32. Uh, you know, it can be worse. Any pit demons yet? Top us? Maverick pit demons. Yeah, you don't want legacy pit demons. That'd just be sad. I don't know. I mean, implosions in this set, so. Yeah, there is. Or Ritual of Tognath. Like. Essence Scale? Ritual of Tognath. Pit Lord. Not pit Lord. Demon. Yeah, pit Lord. Pit, pit Lord. Sorry, you're right. And Furnace. Ooh. Three cards, gain five, purge, f or burn five. <laughs> right? Like, I, I do have a decent Tognath and Furnace stack. I do not have a decent Tognath and Furnace. But you also have opened a few more than I have. Yes. I think I'm at five, six boxes now, though. But it's, that's the most that I have actually purchased for any individual set. So I've been one I mean, or two. No doubt. Mass Mutation is more fun to open than any other set because not only can you just get a good deck just the chance of getting a silly five enhanced card mm -hmm. just makes it more fun doesn't mean it's good it's just more fun yeah i do wish in some ways that there was more reason to play your fun decks instead of your good decks i know well and to bring casual people in but well it's very I'm hard to have reasons to play fun decks online like, we have no problem playing fun decks at our store tournaments. Sure. And I would have no problem putting some chains in there, not carrying it all on it, losing with it. But people are competitive, and they want to win pretty consistently. Yeah, I, I wish there was some way to have... More reason to play jank or yeah. junk. Not jank, junk. Which is why I want to do our 100 deck survival. Right. I actually like playing all my decks, so I am perfectly fine doing that. I would that. like to play more of my decks. And actually, with us running Chainbound twice a week, I played a lot more high 60s decks than I ever had before because, you know, I totally don't care if I win. Yeah. Um, so it gives me a reason to just crack things that look fun and see if I can make them fire. Yep. Okay, so 
if I can get more leaderboard back, I don't think I'm going to run it in this field again. As much fun as this is. Um, I think it's more the MM that's taking extra time. It's fine. Sure, but the MM is the fun part for other people, so. All right, so to go back to your question about Urchin, I think Urchin has gone down, but I still think the ability to steal one is very good. Okay. Steal one now to me just says average. What do you want more than steal one? Bo Nipping, steal two. Ryan Griscross, steal two. You know, I'm going to be honest. Bo seems to consistently come up much earlier in my decks, and I do not have decks that can hey. hold it or to... What's my number one coaching point? ABC. Always be checking. No, that's yours. I, I, I like hearing that. It's a good one. No, mine is uh, draw better. Draw better. Do, do you not remember when we played Mech Warrior? <laughs> we get 3D6. I can hit on anything except for a critical miss. Yep, critical miss. Done. Like... RNG is not there. Did we not talk about this earlier with the Vault Tour? Just just no Brobnar in all three decks. Like, I can take it in one for World's Glide. Oh, all three decks have Brobnar. Poo Brobnar, by the way, too. So, I mean, like, buddy, just draw better. I am blessed. I always talk about this. I'm extremely blessed overall in life. If I don't get cards in Keyforge, it makes me sad, but I have... Many things that other people would like. Keyforge, Luck, and Hair are not two things he's blessed with. Nope. Of course, mind you, my hair blessing has uh, given up on me too. <laughs> I used to have hair. This this really happened in how I've looked since I was about 16, though. You wouldn't know it, but I really was very, very good with the ladies before uh, I got married. These are stories, I'm telling you. I've only known him since he's been with his wife. And that's been a very, very long time. Yeah, and I, I... Go to... Still don't understand how she puts up with him. It's my humor. It's because uh, she saw how skewed was with his wife. Mm. And said, oh, maybe JR is the guy. No, uh, to be honest, I've always been very good at listening and working. I think that being oh, oh, open to oh, listening. Oh, that's cool. Handfish. Legacy. Good legacy. Boo. It's, it's actually, yeah, it's actually very cool. Nice. Go back. We got to see what that is. 35. 35. 35. Yeah, 35. Hot legacy. More Wasn't that in the... In the leaderboard kit again? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. So yes, this video doesn't get released until after. So the only person that has any insight is JR. And since we've already explained that he's probably going to win looking. the prize for crappiest decks, um, not too worried about it. Yeah, man. And, I mean, you're not really going to know who got what number. Uh, I guess you will, but. Let me go. Once we do 36, we'll show. 36. Doing math. Three quarters. Not nine and three quarters. Just three quarters of the way down. All right. Did you say you have another box? Yeah. I'll go grab it. Okay. There's your leaderboard. And there's your. Set the thing right there so I can grab a few blocks. So I have hold, held on to the empty boxes. I don't know why. It's not a weird. Empty box? What empty boxes? Like the box for. Uh, you know what's in this deck? Another legacy. Yeah, I, I didn't see that one. This one, sorry, is not quite as hot. One, two, three, four, five. Because that little seven. symbol actually stands out. Boxes now. I got one, two, 
star comes in four, and then two goes fly. So you're, you're saying like empty boxes. And you're you're saying like the display boxes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. I do like the box that actually, here we go. I like the box for price support. Yes, the that big one. Really cool, yeah. Or the and the little ones. Oh, the big one. Yep, it actually holds a crap ton of decks. That's yeah. actually I the top and bottom of that is where most of my five hundred decks live. Mine holds all my sleeves because I just de-sleeved everything, which is pretty hysterical. Is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah, no, I'm talking about the bigger one. That's a good box too. That's like a not nine hundred or a thousand then. count. Yeah, the um, oh, store, the store kit. Yeah, the, I know what you're talking about. The prime kit and something else came in there. It's actually pretty hefty with all the. Yeah, no, the Mars price support box is pretty good too. And those who like to collect weird, rare keyboard things, I will probably not throw these away, but the leaderboard deck boxes, like, we're talking about things people won't have. If this game lasts like 20 years, okay, fine. Like this is one of those things that people will not have. Okay. Third 37. 37. There you go, bud. Why is your box slickerier? Slickery. Slide. It is uh, a slide. Box. Um, Jordan. I don't think a George joined us. No. And we don't have the Wookiee either. George. Right? No Wookiee? No Wookiee. Filled up before he came in. Yep. Gotta get in earlier, Wookiee. You need to commit. That's working bull crap. There you go. I was going to say, Loki was far more available to us when he was unemployed. I mean, that does make logical sense, <laughs> but... But good for him. Yeah, no, he, he does. Good for him and his family. No job, no more buying keyboard stuff. So Alright. Sure wouldn't be buying much. Sometimes now the mode is looking. Yeah. Just over, Chloe. Hey. I can throw my five year old. No looking, JR. No looking, but enhanced, looking. enhanced Q Mac. <gasps> the first one? Well, that's a little bit late. I mean, we're only opening 48 decks. I got five when we first got MM, and I had two or three that were enhanced. I have one that's double enhanced. That's 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 nice. My stuff's better than yours. It makes you really sad though when someone oubliettes it. Like really <laughs> sad. Yeah, well, at least it's, they're hard to infernus. Yeah, it's extremely hard to infernus. See, so, yeah, I think I actually lost a game last night because 30th? of Lethalogica. Really? So last night I was playing and. I totally cheated. He ain't cheating. He ain't trying. <laughs> Watch yeah. this man. Okay. So, you know, people were sending me their leaderboard decks. What, or not their leaderboard decks. Their decks that they were going to play for our just regular chain bound. And X-Ray was in for the wins, right? Um, so he was sending a hot deck. So I saw what it really is. It's actually one I've played because uh, we're on a team in coat together. So I know the deck. It's Triple Inferno, right? So I'm like... What do I own that beats Triple and Furnace? So um, you played it? Oh, man. I'm like, what beats Triple and Furnace? Etten's Jar. I, I, never, do, I do not have a good Etten's Jar or Eden's Jar. I mean, mine, you know, it's like a 72 fast jar deck. It's okay, right? But I'm like, whatever. I'm just going to play it. I haven't played this deck yet. I didn't even play X-Ray. But when I was playing somebody else, I left Logica, and it tossed my jar. Like, left Logica 
is not always a good card. No, you have to skill test. You have to know what's in the deck. I actually like Lethalogica if um, if I have a really nice logo set up. Yeah. So being able to come back to, well, being able to draw into your auto encoder is really nice. Being able to get to Kronos, being able to get to um, Effervescent Principle for your Amber Control. Some of those pieces that can be really... triple Effervescent Principle to yeah. us. <laughs> that means you're just not generating. Uh, By the way... That set... made bonkers Amber. It means okay. Effervescent Principles were discards. Yeah. So... By the way, X-Ray, I did face you, and you threw up the gauntlet ahead of time before our match, and I know I totally just eked it out. You got, you got Ewok smashed. But I did go ahead and take Coda and beat you with your much, much higher SAS deck. So, and that, that was actually a really, really close game. It so, uh, was a lot of fun. Suck it is what he's saying. Yeah. Suck see, it. on the screen, now I get to say that. No. <laughs> I, I actually really I'm enjoyed. I'm saying it for him. JR is too nice. And X-Ray is on Team Z for ABR League with, with me, so I appreciate my, my teammate. Actually, I appreciate everyone who's there for the... Our Archives Corner group is a sweet group. Yeah, actually, and I don't I, know I really what it was. For a while, we were barely firing four on Chainbound, and yep. now we're like 10s and 12s. That is a wonky Maverick. It's not a bad Maverick, but it is a wonky Maverick. Actually, maybe it's us. <laughs> I think Cleansing Wave is a card that has gotten much better in the new set than it was ever in Cobra. Well, so that deck yesterday had double cleansing wave, and right now, facing MM decks, when you have all those creatures... Lots of creatures, lots of pips of damage. Correct. Um, it can be huge amber generation. But I think the piece that needs to go with it, I don't see an MM, and I, I walked into it yesterday... But having um, Cleansing Wave, well, so I have Poison Wave, so it is a two-turn setup. It's Poison Wave, and then you come back with Cleansing Wave. Yeah. But some of those boards, they, I mean, you were talking yesterday, they were going on forever and ever. But I'm telling you, I'm seriously considering buying a 32-inch monitor just for playing Keyforge. But what was the key there was the two cards that stun from Sanctum. So there's number 40. goes but having the big board if you can't do anything about it is a real issue and i'm trying to think what are the two cards that will stun um anything in the middle and then but that was all of one house yeah all of one house a blinding light is the all of one house what's the other one um i don't know but those were absolute winners for me yesterday in that you could go ahead and poison wave and then the next turn come back and if anything was there you can cleansing wave which the problem is you're you actually know, healing i don't think we've seen sorry you can you get you you're healing them but if you stun them it's like i think stunning is better than honestly killing at times just to leave them out especially with all the infernus and things that are happening there Take the time. Either you kill it and waste so it's not killing me, which did happen. I will say a number of people actually killed their own creatures, like in Furnace, to get them back in the deck. Yeah. Which makes sense, but it meant that people were not eliminating things like Mac the Knife then as a result. Here is a better against Keith. Okay. There you go. Uh, that one's you know, on 40. I don't think I've seen a single one of. Curio? Gigantic. Oh, I was actually going to ask you. So we I haven't don't think seen... I've seen a gigantic creature yet. Really? I haven't been paying perfect attention, mind you. One of my boxes was just chock full of them. Uh, like, I have opened whatever I said, like 10 plus boxes, 15 boxes or whatever. Mm -hmm. I've opened one Kong, one Ducillus, and two Gravitrons. Really? 
I yeah, I know. You've got a double giant creature. Yeah, I have a Dusilis and a Gravitron. Um, and that double is very, very fun. 41. There does seem to be some clumping. I, I can't say anything about no, that. No, I mean, we've always expected there to be distribution issues. Well, it makes sense, though. You're running specific cards that are kind of set for a print. I did pull the sleeves from that one. Well, I mean, you only played online. Was it going to be sleeves? No, I'm saying that that oh, that I'm handing okay. just to try and speed it up, yeah. No, I've definitely seen some Furios. Okay. There you go. There's your big tip. If you see dinos, it's got six Curios in it. I, I don't know. Curio? Curio is an interesting card. It is. It is not always good to play. Like, my deck that I'm really playing in short adaptive has Curio. And it's one of the reasons I'm playing it. Yeah. Because... It I don't think a, a lot of people... It is a discard in that deck sometimes. And you have to know that moment. And it's an enhanced card, so it's enhanced with a draw, so it's very hard to want to discard it. All right, we're about to get to 42. 42! Which we know is the answer. To all life's questions. No, to life, the universe, and everything. That was there. And whoever gets this lucky number is winning a prize match. Prize Matt! Because uh, that's how much I think is the number 42. Ooh, this one says pub. Leader of the pub. Ooh, that's that's us, homebrewers. Well, they're already doing fine. Well, you can probably see their triple card. That's another triple in that one. Their decks have triples. Is it multiple sets of triples? Because I really enjoy when you start I've seeing that. I've only seen one set of triples. Okay. And not every... This one doesn't have six triple sets. Of, it looks okay to me in some other sets. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten enhanced cards. Come on. I just need to know for my own edification here. What is really interesting is how yeah, the okay. computer screen is set up. I actually can't see where you're taking any of the photos, so that really helps. So did you make your selection for ABR League for Triad for next week? No. I have like, two of my decks, but one of them is in the mail. So how do you do this week with your I haven't played, I play Sunday. Oh my god. I played early. I was actually the feature this week. And I looked at the deck selection and playing Hater as some warm up games. I could not beat that deck to save my life. Like But this is a shorter deck. Or what what was no, this no. week? This oh, no, week, this week was uh, Wonky Houses. It was Wonky Houses. Yeah, I'm not thrilled with my matchup either. Um, I actually, it was the first time I didn't use one of my decks. I used X-Ray's deck, so thank hey. you, X-Ray. I liked the deck a lot, but in the matchup, it, I was facing a Coda deck, and... Ooh, good catch, good catch. Saw that. Um, 43. Here we go, 43. And it had triple, triple Mother... Triple, what is it? Triple Mother, Triple Poison Wave. It had like. This was the deck you were playing? Yeah, uh, double, it was Triple Mother, Double Succubi, um, and that's what I was playing. And I had real issues because I was playing an MM deck and it absolutely clogged up my hand. Like, I could not win a game with that during like the couple practice games that we had. Is that. And then here 
is your leaderboard. Oh, I'm sorry, your MM. And we basically figured the only way to be able to beat it was I had to get super lucky and pull um, punctuated at the right time and the two mark of diss. Yeah. That is exactly what I did, and I blew him out three zero. Like I don't even know because I couldn't. I couldn't even get past two keys in in the three practice games that we played, and I'm like, well, it's just you lose. I mean, there's some times, but yeah, there's some games you just so get I absolutely lucky. Char flare. Okay. Char flare has not aged well. Like, no. It hits and furnaces and just cries its little face off. Yeah. But actually, several of my better decks are being played this week because I own a lot of decks okay. with crappy houses um, for whatever reason. So a few of my decks are being played this week. So actually, some of them I would have played in my triad, but not in You can't, yeah. But I have several pretty good world slide decks, so I think, you know, I'm just going to have to play those. Let's see here. So this is surprising that there were two ABR rounds that were basically classic. Yeah, that you didn't have. Because the Archon was, right, best of three, bring your hottest. Yeah. No, I agree with you. And I ran up against good old Drazkor, and we had a good match of three games, but his deck was better suited to the match than mine was. Okay. I played Square Bus, which is super hot. But also has a couple of dis weaknesses. Uh, bounce that gets destroyed by bounce. Because, I mean, really, when it wins, it does tribute Calliope to okay. butt flex. And if it lands with tribute butt flex and you don't answer it, like, game is mine, generally. <laughs> um, but sometimes that doesn't work out. One, two, three, four. Ooh. I suppose we could make a little bit of a once we randomize we can look at your three decks and you know what we could also do we could throw out a random deck for uh, picking what number is going to win you have like straight in that, that straight oh. lotto right there yeah. Like, oh, that's actually a good one. We assign, just randomly assign everybody a second number like it's a lottery. And if they... You could either assign it or you can go ahead and... If I had more time where I could show all these and yeah. let people pick this from the numbers, but we're not going to do that. Well, I do like that where we just assign everybody a second number that's not theirs. And yep. if that number wins, they win another coded app or something. You know, nothing major, of course, but... Forty-five. Yep. Getting down there. Yeah. Let's get. Uh, I like what? Cool Maverick. I gotta say, I've seen cool Mavericks and cool Legacies. So That's awesome. Although we may have got a whole bunch of garbage in the regards of maybe we got a bunch of mods. We did get some cool legacies and Mavericks for people. There's a rare I haven't seen yet today. Ooh. It's one some people like. I'm not a fan of it, but that's okay. I saw here that I like though. Mm. She is done. Yeah, maybe when we're done, I'll make JR feed me beer. Oh, we could do Beer Forge. Whenever you lose, then you have to. If I wasn't driving home. <laughs> no, I'm saying with our 100 challenge. Oh, God. 
A hundred nights of Blue Blue Mirror. Alright guys, we made it to the final game. Oh, actually they're out in my car. I got boozy chocolates. Ooh. They're chocolates with shots of booze in them. Okay. And what Sarah got me for Christmas. That was very sweet of your beautiful wife. Get me drunk so I'm more tolerable. 46 until I'm intolerable and need a punch in the face. It's pretty much what we do. All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. Does that say Bar Town? Did I get that one? Bar Town Cryer. Yeah, there we go. So these will be yours. Cryer. Cryer. Igor Karkar. 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 I don't have a deck with a lot of enhanced cards either. That is. Yeah, didn't Wookie open like a 20 some enhanced deck right away? Yeah. Yeah, I've never opened one like that either. I've never opened anything, I think, with more than three enhancements on it either. More than a triple more. enhanced card? Oh, triple enhanced? No, I don't. I'd have to look, but I don't believe so. I don't know how I feel like a lot of the common cards. I know the value that the enhancements bring, but they a lot of those cards that are providing those enhancements are just absolute toss. Uh, I know why people highly disagree with me. Um, Glorion is a ten land. It's a bad card. Don't like it. Actually, go 47. So, would you rather have an urchin or Gloriana's attendant? Okay, urchin. Okay, because that's for sure one with elusive and steel one, or you have a one with enhancement for two amber in the deck. I have one that doesn't make Infernus bait. I can't disagree with you. Uh, no. Actually, I was thinking Dust Pixie versus Urchin. Ooh, right now? Just in general. Just in a so vacuum, you're, you're getting a chance to go ahead and go with a Steel of 1 or 2 with the chance of 2 being in Furnace later? Ugh. Ugh. Just I in a vacuum... I think I go with Dust Pixies are better. I think I go with Dust Pixie um, because typically when I see Dust Pixie, I'm looking for Chota or Key Charge. This, this one's got some enhancements. 13 of them, so this is going to be a double line deck. The last. <laughs> Maybe not. The last set of decks. Number 48. Too bad. Uh oh, I need 13 enhanced cards. Ooh, creatures. It's always the creatures. We're faster though. This is 49 minutes. There it is. Yep, 13. Sometimes the lightning bolts don't show up and it makes them hard to see, right? Yeah. You're doing a lot of work. Ooh. I'm just happy we sold out. So I, yeah. I feel like in some ways we've been abusing the store where we've run the chain bounce from. And Thank you, Gil. They get nothing from it. So here, he's finally getting something from letting me do whatever I want with Keyforge. Thankfully, he does pretty much let me do what I want with Keyforge. So I was able to get a lot of. Uh, 
pry support, right, for this. It's just, I just think about the amount of pry support we're about to give out. All right. Yeah, and what everybody, we've actually everybody's seen getting for... stuff on top of decks, and then versus the other stores we used to play at, and just how stingy they can be. But I think that's part of it. When we talk the larger strategy of bringing in new players, like I hate to say there needs to be prize support, but there needs to be something. And that's why for Mech Warrior, one of the early things that got me in, even though I got my butt 48. kicked, forty-eight. Even though I got my butt kicked consistently, so I love. There was the, if you just showed up three times, you got something. Wow. Or maybe that was just our rules. Yeah. So what I enjoyed was, one, the competitive nature. I enjoyed the group that was there, which I think Keyforge has. We have an amazing, amazing community. And that's why I continue to put in the time and effort. Um, but what was happening is there was a prize for winning, and then there was a prize for fellowship. And, and JR's a nice guy. I, I To be honest... It, well, yes, but we also we also went ahead and we would you know trade up so that different yeah. people would well, we, get it so that it wasn't always yeah. the same person, and we played at a couple of different stores, and I think that's the piece is Keyforge they have prizes, but the stores have to be able to give it out. And early on, two of the stores unfortunately were very stingy, and when I say stingy, they're still holding on to things that are coming from they're the Coda closed set. and gone, they, yeah. and they still have their prize support, but. Again, building up the community, being able to go ahead and give items out. When you have players who are, I mean, I did this. I would go ahead and buy a deck and just give it to someone else because it's hard when they come out. And it's not that we would beat them because we played much better decks. We just understood the game better. And there's certain pieces that you can go ahead and play and pilot your deck to a much better victory if you understand it versus just bringing something that's spicy. So when that happens and, you know, someone comes and they only win once or they go ahead and go, oh, three, at least give them something, walk away. And, and I don't know, I would even take some of the prize winnings that we would get or just like ask. I would consistently ask the employees, hey, can we get something? Oh, no, we got to be able to check in with so-and-so and so-and-so. -and -so. That really hurts you the have community. eight players before we'll give anything Correct. out. Well, maybe if we could give something out, we'd get some more players. I mean, like, there's the chicken egg thing, but, like, they were. And then it was, like, the Mars kit play mat. Yeah. So it was, like, nobody gave a shit about it anyways. And they wouldn't hand it. Like, they were even stingy about the, like, those kits came with, like, 20 deck boxes. Yep. And they were stingy about handing out the deck boxes. Well, they were stingy about handing out the little, like, half or th uh, third cards that everyone had a plethora of, so, and you're sitting here like... Did you know we have those to give away for this? Oh, no. I have tons of those to give away. People are getting those. I didn't even advertise them because they're junk and nobody cares. But, I mean, that was the sad piece is that you want it... Like, I would go into my own collection again and just be like, here, take some. Because it's better to give someone who's coming for the first time or second time, if they walk away and they've lost, but yet they walk away with something they are more inclined to come back. And I think we have to, as a group, be aware of that and be able to help. Okay, so I think we're done, we're done with this. We got some other computer stuff to do and another short video screen cap thing here of assigning numbers. Yep. So we're going to do that here in a minute. I think it's going to be a pause in potty break time Yeah. and probably get a beer. Yep. Because cool. it, it is 310, so I can have a beer. While we're in Wisconsin, we could probably drink at 8, but we won't. 8 a.m. Um, 6 a.m. 5 a.m. I may have already. Yeah. Okay. There we go. See this. <laughs> this is why Wisconsin has some issues. So we'll be back in a it little bit. Boozy candies, like it oh. wasn't uh, drinking candy. It was New Year's. I did drink last, last night, night, so I had to drink this morning to yeah. make it through the day. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Okay. There we go. We love you. We'll see you all soon. Until then, know that we are not disturbing your decks. They are all there, and honestly, we're not looking at them because yeah, we that's definitely a lot of decks. Won't fix them. Yep. But if we do, and uh, Dan's already had COVID, so no, I'm joking. That's not a joke. We can't we can't joke about COVID. So we'll be back for the one viewer who is still watching this. Thank you for sticking How can around. You have a viewer, you're not streaming. Are no, you? I'm. We're saying you said earlier that there'll oh, be two viewers. Yes. <laughs> we have no idea. You know, if this goes viral and all of a sudden now people are watching this, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see me. I did shower and shave. All right.
I'm, I'm out. I'm done. This is why. This is horrible. <laughs> I'll see you guys. All right. Okay, since we're set up on you.